Hi guys, gals, and gender non-conforming individuals. It's Miss Nikki. I'm teaming up with my friend Miss Johanna today to talk to you guys about self-love. Now, I know self-love is something that doesn't come naturally to most of us, particularly those of you who are struggling with anxiety, depression, problems at home or at school, or low self-esteem. Now, what if I told you that the best way for you to learn self-love is by showing kindness to others? It's true. By being kind to the people around us, we are practicing the art of being kind, which we can then use inwards on ourselves. I'm going to show you four ways that you can go out of your way to help someone and brighten their day, thereby showing kindness. One, give one genuine compliment per day. We all know that a good compliment can take us from feeling low to feeling on top of the world. So why not show that to others? Starting tomorrow, make a point of giving one genuine compliment per day. Now, I know for lots of us, it can be easy to get stuck on looks, especially for those who identify as women or female. But an issue with this is that sometimes when we're used to being complimented on our looks so much, we get the impression that it's the only good thing about us. So try to focus on something other than appearance when you're going for compliments. Here are some great ideas and suggestions to get you started. By giving someone a compliment that is non-appearance based, we're also letting the person know that we see them on a non-superficial level. Two, help a complete stranger. We all make a point of helping the people that we love, like our friends, our parents, and our teachers. But the true test of kindness is to help a complete stranger, helping someone where no matter the outcome, it might not have any long-term consequences on you. Surely you've been in a situation before where there's been a friendly stranger to help you out when you needed directions or were lost. Now you can be that person for other people. There's lots of different ways to help. You might offer your seat to someone on public transit. You might tip an especially awesome grab driver that made your day. Or you might practice the pinnacle of politeness, which is holding the door for someone. Three, reach out to a friend that's struggling. The truth of the matter is that we are all struggling with problems sometime, even when we try to put on a brave face for the people around us. Because of this, it might be hard to know when a friend is struggling or in need of help. The next time that you suspect a friend might be struggling, reach out, check in with them and see they're okay, and remind them that you're there if they ever want to talk or vent about something. Even if they say they're fine, remember that most of us has been conditioned to respond this way for the sake of not dragging down others with our problems. The best thing that you can do in this situation is to remind your friend that you offer a safe space for them to talk if they ever need you. Four, forgive and move on. If you really want to level up your kindness, the quickest way to do that is to show kindness to the people around you that maybe don't deserve it. It can be really hard to forgive, especially when someone has genuinely hurt us. There's a famous quote that said, resentment is like drinking poison and hoping that other person will die. In a sense, what this means is that by holding on to grudges, the only person that we're really hurting is ourselves. By forgiving, we are not necessarily telling the person that what they did is okay. Rather, what we're doing is telling ourselves that it's okay to move on and to not be weighed down by this negativity anymore. And who knows, by forgiving, you might be able to rebuild a bridge or even make a new friend. By showing kindness to others, you can feel better about yourself, knowing that you spent your day trying to brighten someone else's, trying to make them feel good about themselves, or maybe even helping someone who genuinely needed it. Self-love is all about treating ourselves with the kindness that we would want others to treat us with. So by practicing this towards other people, you can start to practice it.